I want to talk to you today about the three different types of tools that we use to remove brass when we're tuning a harmonica. The three types are rotary tools, scrapers, and files. I'm going to tell you about the advantages and the disadvantages of those three types. So in no particular order, uh, let's start with the rotary type. In No matter what tool you use, the trick to uh, using it so that you don't destroy a reed is to properly support the reed. They are fairly safe, although if you're not careful you can you can bend the reed out of shape a little bit uh, if you're rough, but in general it's very hard to damage a reed beyond repair with the rotary tool. The trick is to get a rotary tool with a very big tip. See this is a commonly available one. You can see how small that that tip is. Uh, this one has a very big ball. Start it and stop it and keep your eye on the tip. If the tip wobbles as it spins, forget it. You're never going to get a good result. You can work on assembled harmonicas. My five cent tool. You can support the blow reed as you take brass off. Um, to raise the pitch. Um, I just told you not to use one with a small tip, but the ones with the bigger tip have trouble getting in at the base, uh, but you can use a scraper tool, so that might be a disadvantage. I like ones that are battery powered because you don't need a lot of horsepower. You gently want to remove brass. You use a gentle sweeping motion and you won't change, you won't screw up the shape of your reed with the rotary tool. The other kind of tool is the scraper. Now the scraper removes brass by sort of peeling it off in layers. So just take a look at this. You can see there's a little shard of brass that I've just peeled off. Right, that's just to give you an example of, of, of what to do. Uh, these are great. You can you can raise the pitch, you can scrape brass off the, the, the tip, uh, flip it around, they're very good. Uh, at taking brass off the base. Again, very hard to mangle a reed beyond repair. Uh, they work very well in assembled harmonicas on that blow plate. You can, you can lower the pitch by scraping brass from the base. Uh, and the same thing, you can, you can mix and match too if you want. You can use a rotary tool on the tip and use a scraper on the base. On the base of the blow reeds, you don't really need to support the reed. Okay. Now, people ask me, well, is it okay to take brass off this side of the reed? Shouldn't you be taking it off the reed plate uh, and working on this side? Well, obviously, when you have full access to the reed, you can do a lot more work. You can uh, bring it down uh, by a few semitones. You could raise it by a few semitones. When you work on the blow plate of a harmonica that's put together, uh, don't expect to go anywhere more than five, ten, maybe fifteen cents. All right, they're, 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 it's it's totally fine to use this side to make uh, your final adjustments, save you some time. But when you want to uh, uh, do a lot of uh, a bigger change. Uh, work with the reed plate off the reed, work with the belly side of the reed, use the French tuner uh, for that. That's another great tool. Uh, finally, the third type is the file. Swiss pattern is sort of a crisscross pattern, and that means that <clears throat> you take brass off no matter what direction you go. Okay? Uh, that's what you want. Um, you want, you probably want an O cut. Uh, anything higher, a two cut, or a four cut is is uh, I find it just does uh, a better job at polishing, and it doesn't remove a, a lot of brass. The the, the pores get clogged, um, and you end up using a lot of rubbing motion, and that can change the shape of the the, the reed. The O cut is beautiful. It's just on the it's just on the margin of coarse to fine, so it really takes off a good amount of brass, but it it won't uh, it won't leave. Scratch marks. It won't leave uh, uh, pits and indentations like something more coarse, like a OO cut or something even even or you know bigger type file. Um, 
they come in different shapes. This is a warding shape, so it's just like a flat triangle, and it has teeth on every side, which is very useful. I'll show you in a minute. Do, any shape is, is fine. Don't use a round shape, but any shape that's not round will work. As with any tool, the trick is to properly support the reed. Okay? Now, when I want to take brass off the tip, I want to go parallel to the reed. You see how I'm going back and forth here, parallel? I am... I'll just angle it this way for you. I'm pushing down on the reed, but the work that I'm doing is really this way. When I'm removing brass, I'm not trying to remove brass by pushing down. I'm trying to remove brass by going back and forth. It's important... Let me take a scrap reed plate. It's important that you don't that you don't lose focus when you're taking uh, when you're filing down that tip don't lose focus and pull back too far because when you get back on it you're going to mangle that reed okay and that's that's a nightmare it still makes a sound but that that's not repairable okay so and that's a moment of distraction uh, and your reed is gone Okay, so that's the main disadvantage of files. But other than that, they don't require batteries, which is a big frustration of these tools. Uh, if you want to lower the pitch, uh, support your read, bring your read support tool as far as it'll go. And again, I'm pushing down, but the motion of removing brass is the back and forth motion. Okay. It should come with a bit of a curve, and I recommend that you adjust the curve to your liking. So, to support a blow reed, uh, when we tune it up, uh, the curve should be facing downwards, okay? So that uh, it properly supports the reed when you press down, right? That, that reed is solid. So, we're going to use the Grobe file, and we're going to raise the pitch. By a couple of cents and if you're aligned with the reed uh, and you go back and forth you will uh, have changed the pitch of that reed <laughs> so I've taken it out of tune so we've raised the pitch we've, we've shown how easy it is to raise the pitch how about lowering the pitch well I want to have the uh, five cent tuner again with a little bit of curve at the tip and what I'm going to do is support the reed from the outside. So if you put the 5 cent tuner in like this and then flip the harmonica over, again, push down, right, and you've got that tension that's blocking that reed and supporting the reed, you can take the Grobe file and here you're going by sense of feel, but you could very easily lower the pitch. Let's see where we're at. It's back in tune. Um, and, it, you know, using this method, you could lower it by many, many more semitones. Uh, it's very easy, very quick. So, there you go. The advantages and disadvantages of the various tuning tools. I hope that helps.